Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here, your source for gaming tech emulation and open source news. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Strato. And no, Strato has not released just yet. And no, there are no public testing builds just yet. However, there is a YouTube video showing off this emulator in action. If you are curious about this one, I'll drop a link to Easy on the Eyes YouTube video in the description below, and I do recommend checking it out. You can see games like Naruto Storm up and running at around 30 frames per second, and the new Pokemon Snap up and running very nicely. Every day that goes by is a day closer to the release of Strato, which doesn't have an official release date just yet. And for those who may be unaware, Strato is the successor to Skyline. Next up here, we're talking about PS2 and Boku no Natsuyasumi 2. I might have mispronounced that. Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, here the long-awaited English translation patch is now available. The game name translates to My Summer Vacation 2 Sea Adventure Chapter. It was released back in 2002 for the PS2 and also came out for the PSP in 2010, but just in Japan. If you are curious about this one, their YouTube video has a link to the patch in the description, which I will link in the description below. Moving on, and we're going from something fun and lighthearted to something completely opposite. The game is called Christmas Massacre. And apparently here Nintendo has rejected this game. And Microsoft has also rejected this game. But Sony has accepted the game to come to PlayStation on November 17th. In my opinion here, although I haven't played Christmas Massacre, it looks pretty messed up. But I think that's the vibe the developer was going for. If you wanted to know more about it, I'll drop a link in the description below. And last up here, we're talking about something very interesting. It's a controller for Android, although it hasn't been released or even talked about. And it was found at a goodwill. I'm not joking with you here. I'll drop a link to this YouTube video in the description below, and I do recommend checking it out. I was on a podcast last night with Retro Handhelds and Stubbs showcased this thing and it was a very interesting controller. I mean, it's from Razer and it's called the Kishi V2 Pro Ultra and apparently it's pretty good. So we've got basically no idea as to whether or not this is a prototype for an upcoming controller or just a prototype that was discarded and they're not going to do anything with. And it is up for sale on eBay. As of this video, the current bid is $76 with 19 days and 19 hours left to go. And the listing does say one of a kind. But unfortunately, I've got no idea if that's true. I mean, this was found in Goodwill. And I don't know if there's more floating around out there. We literally know nothing about this controller. Maybe we'll find out at CES. Maybe we won't. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point. All stuff and no fluff. We talked about a few things today. Not a whole bunch. It was a light news day and there's no point in stretching out the video. So let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, don't tempt fate, save your state.